Good morning, YouTube. So, it's 7.24 in the morning. Connor and I just get up at 7, pretty much, because um, he wakes me up. I sleep in his bed. I didn't have to be anywhere, so just stayed in bed with him. Uh, he automatically wanted these pancakes. So I haven't had time to do anything because this is what he wanted. So these pancakes are half a cup of oats blended up to make oat flour. A scoop of protein powder. We use like the cinnamon protein powder and then almond milk for the consistency. So he likes these. We haven't had them in a while. He got the protein powder out. He was like ready to go. So that's what we're making right now. Like I said, we just woke up. Why well, I still have my hood up, so I'm gonna get these pancakes going for him, and then we gotta get Hannah as well. So here we go. Just the stars. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. All night. Hey. Hey, did you sleep all night? Are you awake? Yeah. Did you sleep all night? Yeah, you slept all night. Huh? You ready to go downstairs? Oh. No? You made pancakes. Huh? You made pancakes. Yeah. Yeah. You made to I'm gonna take blanket down. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. You say that they were the best pancakes ever. Yeah. Say it again. Best baby ever. Yeah. Mommy did a Mommy, what's that family? What's that family? That's my building. That's a good mommy's building. But the best pancake ever. Yeah. So yummy. <laughs> Alright, so we, where are we guys going? <laughs> We're going to mommy's building, aka the gym. So we are headed to the gym. We got mommy boot camp here at 9 o'clock that we teach. And then, of course, it's going to go off. And then, if anybody shows up, it's supposed to be getting some nasty weather. I mean, it's raining right now. But some ice storm and snowstorms coming our way. Um, so we'll see if anybody shows up. But we're going to the gym either way. Huh. And go play. Work out, maybe, if nobody shows up. We'll see. What is it? That was the, because all the stuff up in the seat. So, we're off to the gym. <laughs> Wee! The truck there. Yeah, rain. Rain, yeah. See over here. What do you guys think? 
Making, are you making footprints? Let's go turn on, turn up the heat. Turn up this heat. Turn on the other light. <laughs> Purple, yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite wall. Behind the counter. Well, it's gonna go upstairs, but. You like that table? Look at the table, Hida. You like that? Good. Well, I eat a book. Huh? Anyway, you funny. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love Class, so we're going to work out. So I'm going to show you guys my workout. I'm currently 13 weeks and one day pregnant with twins. So I'm kind of going to do a little workout today. Um, been getting back into the workouts a little bit more. So I'm going to show you my camera works and stays. I'm going to show you guys the workout, but we're going to do some rowing, rowing, deadlift, pull-ups, snatches, chest presses. That's what we're going to do. So I'll record as much as I can and uh, show you guys some of it. All right. gym now we're gonna go get some pick up some lunch so we're gonna pick up the kids some Wendy's um, I have a meeting at 1 so I have to get the kids back for lunch and try to get them down for a nap before I have to leave for a meeting this rain the workout was I did a 500 meter row to start I did 10 deadlifts at 95 pounds I did sing or 10 pull-ups just assisted pull-ups um, and then I did 10 single arm snatches, dumbbell snatches, 
and then I did 10 chest press, four rounds of that, and then I did another 500 meter row, and then I did, uh, we have a vertical leg press, so I did 15 reps of vertical leg press, and then 15 back extensions for three sets. So that was a workout. I'm beat from it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go get all this ready for lunch and naps. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon a little bit about an update with the whole surrogacy thing um, later once I get through my meeting and all that good stuff. So we'll talk later. You say you are lost and you're in need of some advice. Mm -hmm. I'll try to be honest. Though it's easier to laugh And you can say that I'm crazy That you think you're not ready But I'm telling you, baby Get up and get out 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 It's okay As a surrogate um, so I just kind of want to finish the video just with a short little update real fast um, so we are 13 weeks as of yesterday so we're technically 13 weeks and one day pregnant with twins uh, we haven't had any doctor's appointment since the last one that you guys saw um, but everything so far has been good physically I felt great still I've been getting in some more lifts um, I might have gained like four pounds but I was really low with my weight before this started, like lowest I've been in a long time. So um, the four pounds, I'm not even like where I used to be or normal before my kids, um, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else physical. Now, I mean, belly is getting bigger, um, showing a lot more than I did with my kids, of course. Twins, a little bit different. Eating wise has been hit or miss for me. I've been trying my best to stay on track with eating, but stress here lately has been causing me to go off a little bit, but nothing crazy, just not the normal for myself. Um, that's basically it physically. Uh, mentally, it's been a struggle. 
Um, I've been having a hard time this last week mentally. I have had some nights of just crying. Um, things have just not been going very well mentally. Um, it's, it's a struggle. First off, um, I struggle with my kids just the growing of the belly, the changing of the body, which is amazing that we can do this and I can do it for someone else. It's still a mental challenge for myself because it's just hard. Um, I know my belly is going to be bigger than it ever ha was with my kids. I know things will be probably a lot harder as we get farther along. I know I'm not going to be able to do the things I want to be able to do. I'm going to have to ask for more help, which is all just very hard for myself. Um, but then the other side of it is mentally this being a surrogate. It's very, very difficult. Um, people might not think of it as much as being too difficult mentally. Um, they might just think the physical side, but mentally it's hard because you're carrying somebody else's kids. So you're carrying their pains. And I didn't realize when I stepped into this journey and decided to carry somebody else's kids that it would bring on a lot of pain for them um that they because they can't do it but they want to be able to do it that anything reminds them of the fact that they can't do it and uh that's been hard i don't ever want to cause anybody pain i honestly thought that this journey would bring them so much joy that it would kind of ease some of that pain but um i'm just seeing that it's not and maybe as we get farther along, it will help um, once we see the babies move and feel them move. And I can share that. That might help them feel a little bit more connected. Right now, it's just been hard. But to see them sad, to hear their pain, has been very challenging. Because that's not what I signed up for, if that makes sense. I didn't sign up to cause pain. I didn't sign up to... Uh, bring them unhappiness. I signed up to bring them happiness, to bring this gift to the earth for them to do what they couldn't do because I'm able to do it. Like that was the purpose of signing up for this. Uh, to be able to make a woman a mom, officially a mom, because moms is my passion. That was the reason behind it. But then to see the pain, to see the heartache, but they're still grateful at the same time and I get it but it's really hard but I'm learning to change my mindset around it the past couple days have been a lot better for me uh, I've been learning to just do what I'm focused to do my job for carrying these kids these babies carrying them growing them to become healthy babies bringing them into this world to hand over to their parents that's my goal and that's what I have to focus on is these babies um, that's what I signed up for, right? So, just wanted to give a little update on 13 weeks. Not a whole lot going on physically. Not a whole lot of changes since the last video. Just the mentality of it's really, really been a struggle. But, just wanted to share. I hope you guys like these videos. I'm going to continue to do them throughout this journey. Uh, kind of give you guys a little insight on the surrogate side. It's not all rainbows and butterflies, that's for sure. And it's not just because it's physically, physically, I feel good. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great one. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming updates on the surrogate journey. Gotta go check on my kids. Thanks, you guys, for watching.